All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Fishing is Therapy. I'm out here in the garage working on another boat DIY really quick. I went camping for my birthday, ran into a little bit of a dilemma, guys. Let me show you. So these are my chains I had before, right? And I made the dumb mistake of I had unhitched my trailer, right? But I forgot to actually put my bolt, to actually put my bolt back in. So when I went to go get my boat, I had forgot about it. I'm rushing. See, I got these heavy-duty padlocks and stuff. So I forgot to put the one on my trailer. And when I was pulling out my boat, the ring right here that my chains were attached to snapped. Bow. The chains were still attached. The chains were still attached. Um, but the ring broke. Boom. So I'm like, all right. I got to get home, replace it. I was thinking about hooking it onto here. But then I know these right here, these holes... Therefore, where you can actually put bolts in. So, I'm going to do an overhaul really quick. I got some better chains. These are one quarter, one quarter inch from Harbor Freight. Safety chains, four foot for the trailer. I went and took my bolt cutters and cut them. I got some half inch grade A. Okay, one of the highest strengths. All right, half inch grade A. I think these are about three quarter inch. Uh, sorry, about an inch and a half bolts here but they're half inch in diameter flat washer same thing half inch locking washers here okay and I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed on my boat I even bought um because I didn't I didn't have one I think I ran my other one now the half inch drill drill bit as well okay so I'm gonna start with a pilot hole you get a pilot hole drilled in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed this should be just a quick you know, just a uh, boat DIY for you guys. Anyone looking at how to do it? Um, Cause I saw a few videos and I didn't see how they actually attached it. But if you look under my trailer, under in here, see, it won't, um, when I bolt through from the side, I'll be able to just secure it from here. So let me go get my sockets and everything. And let's get started. All right, so let me get in here. I'm going to put it on the first one here. Try to get as close to center as possible. Give me a little hole punch right there. Hole punch the other side as well. Right in the center. Right now I'm going to be running. I'm going to just start it off with a little pilot hole on the, with a 3 16th drill bit. All right, there we go. Got a nice hole, pilot hole. Go to the other side and I'll do the same thing. Then I'll come back and um, make them half inch size. I had to use my step drill to hollow out that hole a little bit, but we got it in there, the bolt in. I'm gonna go to the other side. Won't bore you guys with going and doing the same process on the other side. All right, so um, my battery died on my drill. <laughs> so I'm gonna just hook up this side and then when it charges, I'm gonna hook up the other side. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it really quick. So I'm gonna just take that grade A washer, half inch, and the, uh, and the bolt, and I'm gonna have the nut, and I'm also have my lock nuts go. First thing I'm gonna do is just hook the chain up so it can be able to go bottom side. There we go. Push it through the hole. Like so. Bolt all the way through there. Oh, it's not look like there's not enough room. <laughs> I may have to get some bigger bolts. This bolt don't look long enough. There we go. Yeah, there's not much space on the other side. I'm about to get longer lower bolts all right so so I went out 
and I got a longer bolt because when I I didn't factor in the chain length thickness here see when I do it here is not enough bolt left thread once I push it through so I went and got uh, this was a um, one inch um, this was one inch right here so I got uh, one and a half no two inch sorry I ended up getting two inch Now what I'm gonna do is on the other side, put a washer first, I'm gonna put a locking washer after, like that, and then I'm gonna put this here, okay? I'm gonna put the uh, nut on there. You guys can't see that because this course is underneath the trailer. It'd be hard to get the camera under there. I'm gonna come from this angle here. Hold the bolt from this side under here. And I'm gonna tighten. So it'll be kind of wedged right there. That part right there is the only way I can get it. Right, so I'm gonna do a little more hand tightening. We should be all good here. Ugh. There we go. Shouldn't be coming off. And there's my chain. There you go. Rinse and repeat on the other side. I don't have to bore you with doing that twice. There you go. I can pull my trailer around. Look at that. So that's what you're going to see. Of course, I'm going to have the chains crossed down here. So, great project. All right, guys, so we got it done. Um, I got one side done. Um, I would have liked to get the other side, but you know how it goes when you're doing this. My drill died. Um, it's some pretty dense steel here on my boat trailer. So I got one side done. All I'm going to do is rinse and repeat, finish out that hole I was drilling, put the bolt screw through there, and then add the chain, okay? So it's just rinse and repeat. I'm going to bore you with making an extra long video for that. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. Give me any tips. I'm always open to any feedback. But just just a simple trailer install. I mean, uh, trailer safety chain install. Make sure you're in compliance on the road. Make sure you have that safety. This is an extra precaution. But hey, mine broke because there's a little weak clip underneath there. But now I got it bolted right. With grade A clips, half inch, half inch bolts from grade A. I got those from Tractor Supply. And then I got the uh, safety chain from Harbor Freight. Okay, so it's a budget, it's a budget thing. Don't go out without your safety chain, guys. See you on another episode of Fishing Therapy. Peace.